In this video, we are going to show you how to read and understand feedback loops in systems thinking. A feedback loop is basically a two-way relationship between two variables. For example, we know that population is linked with births and population impacts births which means the number of people impact what is the rate at which births are taking place and as births take place over time it also changes the population which means it adds to the population and increases it and as the population increases it leads to more births taking place over time. Hence, there is a feedback loop here. There is a two-way relationship. There is a causality. And to express the nature of this causality, in systems thinking, we use something called as polarity. And because population is impacting births in a positive manner, we plot a, put a plus sign there which means if population goes up, births go up. If births also go up, population also goes up. Now you can either use a plus sign here or you can use a S symbol here. S means similar relationship. If one variable goes up, the other goes up. And plus also means similar relationship, which means if one variable goes up, the other also goes up. So this helps us to understand that there is a feedback loop here more people lead to more births more births leads to addition in the stock of population and thereby we know that it is a reinforcing loop which means both the variables are reinforcing the growth of each other but this is not the entire story here when we talk about feedback loops there are two kind of feedback loops one is the reinforcing feedback loop which amplifies the direction of change while we also have a balancing feedback loop which in this case is to do with deaths right people just don't keep adding to the stock because there is also deaths which happen from the population and as deaths happen it leads to a correction in the population right so as deaths happen it leads to a reduction in the population which is signified through a negative polarity which means you can use a minus symbol here or you can use a O symbol here O stands for opposite relationship, which means if one variable goes up, the other goes down. If one variable goes down, the other goes up. It is inversely related. You can use a minus or a O. Whereas if more people are there, then the deaths would also go up in numbers, right? And more deaths will lead to less people remaining. And that's why there is no reinforcement that happens here. On the contrary, it leads to a balancing feedback loop, which means the deaths keep the system in check. It does not allow amplification of population in one direction. It does not allow the population to continuously grow. It creates a feedback and keeps the system under check. So this is what a feedback loop is in systems thinking and you must remember there are two kind of feedback loops reinforcing and balancing a reinforcing loop leads to amplification both ways either upwards or downwards and a balancing loop keeps a system in check and balances applies the checks and balances into a system and often does not allow the system to move in one direction so these are the two types of feedback loops that we use in systems thinking and most of the models you see are built around the balancing and reinforcing feedback loops. 
Hope you find this useful. Keep checking out our YouTube channel and the video series to know more about systems thinking and also look at the system stories that we are putting up on our channel to see how these loops are applied to real-world problems. Thank you.